Hi, I'm Derek. Hi, I'm Chris. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Great to have you here. <laughs> Excited to show you some things. What are you going to show me? Uh, well, this is one of our latest cars, the new S-Class, and I'm going to show you some of the driver assistance systems we have in that car. What is Active Brake Assist? Well, Active Brake Assist is a function that's based on a camera and a radar within the car, and those systems detect whether there's dangerous situations out on the road ahead of you or actually uh, at various angles to the car. And whenever it detects a dangerous situation and it feels that you're not paying attention to that, then it will first warn you. When you don't react to that warning, the car will actually start to brake itself. First of all, we'll do a dry run. I'm just showing you how we test these maneuvers. What you see over here, there's a, this little, we call it a balloon car. It's an automatically driven platform with a soft target on top so that we can run through it if we need to, which of course in development process happens quite a few times uh, because we're testing the systems to the limit. Eventually, uh, this car will be hitting us or we will be hitting it. So whatever I do, I have to, to uh, be absent-minded. This is really the tricky part of it. As an expert driver, I would see this target coming and I would react, but now uh, I'll actually keep talking to you. I'll actually uh, look over to you and, oh, and, no. and, and, and <laughs> I won't do anything. So I, 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 can't I can see this guy coming across. Oh my God! Whoa! So needless to say, you didn't I, do anything. I, I didn't do anything. Uh, I was looking over to you, so I didn't see this car coming. I, there, there was no chance for me to break <laughs> in this situation. Um, actually, I kept my foot on the gas, like I would would do when I was uh, would be driving through a city, um, you know, looking at whatever who's who's sitting next to me. That is so unreasonable. Like, I, how close did we get to that car? I guess that was about uh, a foot or so, 50 centimeters maybe. Um, it always depends on traction of the road. Um, we try not to, to brake too early actually. Um, the idea is to use up all the time we have, all the space we have, first of all, to try to get the driver back into the loop. You may have noticed that warning beeping sound earlier, uh, which was uh, happening when I still had time to react myself. If we would brake earlier, that would only mean that we are taking away space from the car, cars behind us. So there's a really sophisticated computer in here to calculate all that. Yes, it's really only a matter of milliseconds whether you will hit that car or not. So I'm going to show you that this actually works. And now this time we'll make it a little bit less evident whether we'll hit that car or not. Try to judge for yourself whether you whether think we're going to hit the car. Yeah, wh whether we're going to hit that car or not. And you're going to try to be absent-minded again? Ag again, I won't do anything. I mean, right now I would say, yeah, we're probably going to hit that car. Oh yeah, we're going to hit it. Oh yeah, no! Oh hit no! It. Oh! <laughs> very close. Very close. <laughs> it was very close. <laughs> But we didn't hit it, right? No, we didn't hit it. If we wouldn't have uh, braked, uh, then we would have hit that car. Um, Did you start braking? No, I didn't. And it was all done by the car. And now we'll do the same maneuver again. So we're going again. Going again, 50, and I'm, I'm driving a little bit more over to the side, as you may notice, uh, simply because this is the easiest way to trick uh, the other car. Because this way, let's see whether we, we will hit it oh or not. Oh my goodness, wow. You see no reaction, no beeping, nothing happened. You don't need to warn the driver if nothing is going to happen and you certainly don't want to brake if nothing happens. Let me try one more, one more thing. I'll try to, to hit the sweet spot where the car actually starts to brake. This is going to be just a little brake. Yeah. Because that's all we need. Exactly. This is What's going to be a close call. Oh. Mm. Did you feel the car yeah. started to brake? It jammed us back into the seat. And once the other car was clear of us, we kept going. They let us again. keep going. I never thought about how complicated a problem it is, right? Because if if you brake too much, like that's as big of a problem as not braking at all, because you exactly. are subject to collisions from the back. Exactly. So is it impossible to crash this car? Uh, no, it's definitely not impossible. Uh, we are still in the world of driver assistance systems. So this means that the driver is still in charge and is capable of doing whatever he wants to do. And we think this is uh, quite important for the driver. So if you want to override any of these systems, then you can at any time do so by accelerating again, by steering, whatever you want to do, you are still in charge of the car. Hey, thanks for watching. To see more great content, you can subscribe to the Mercedes-Benz channel by clicking here, or to see another video in the series, click here. And safe driving.